Uh-oh, a toxic chomper. I don't like where this is going. Blah. I had two choices in life. Forage for fancy food at the national parks. Or work at this channel. Ugh, poison. On the table, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare Toxic Chomper Accessory Pack Number 1. That's right, four highly detailed fancy toys from Diamond Select. On the back of the box, other things to collect. We have already taken a look at the Marine Biologist Zombie vs. Toxic P. And there are other great packs such as Goalie Star Zombie vs. Sunflower and Welder Zombie and Accessory Pack number 2. Chomping its way out of the box first is the Toxic Chomper. Not to be confused with Chomp Thing. Toxic Chomper here is all in green, but I think he's got a little more purple in his uh, stem in the game. But still a really fun repaint of the first run Chomper. It has that poisonous toxic feel with the green and then the little yellow circles going around the head and the teeth that are kind of green and messy. Looks like something that would make you very sick. Articulation on these guys are pretty simple, just a simple head rotation on this guy, full 360. But I don't see anything else, mostly just little glue points. This one would have been nice right here to rotate his head, but that's pretty much stuck. A quick comparison with the first run chomper, your standard chomper if you will. Much more purple. You can see they're basically repaints of each other, but looking at these two I would sure like to see many more repaints because they're so friendly funny. Of course then there's this guy, but I think we are chomping into the wrong franchise now. The Diamond Select Toys Chompers are so nice, they're so fancy and fun. This guy likes to tilt his head a lot. Next up for the quote unquote accessory would be the Heel Flower, the spawnable plant from Sunflower, and or a special plant you would plant up in protecting your garden. They drop a little sunshines and help you out with your health. Good looking toy, really simple but pulls it off well, nice paint. Very good, uh, sharp looking flower head, uh, green stem leaves, and a potted plant. Feels kind of hollow, but good to have. And this guy also kind of reminds me of this potted plant. But I think again we are wandering into the wrong franchise. The next accessory is the chili bean bomb, or really the sombrero bean bomb, a really important ability dropped by the pea shooter when wanting to explode a bunch of zombies in a small area. This guy has a longer fuse, but bigger damage area, so kind of trickier to use with the longer fuse, but important. Nonetheless, I actually have this guy and use him more often than the regular chili bean bomb just because the hat looks really cool. <laughs> Toy looks pretty cool, just really simple hat on a chili bean. A great stare going on with this guy. I've got a lot of paint crunchies up here or something for texture and some texture down here on the bottom of this bean. Really funny character though and kind of like the game if you throw it. You get a little bit of free animated action. Kind of a silly funny toy to play with. And that is the Sombrero Bean Bomb. Ouch. And the final accessory is the potato mine, a ability of the cactus to drop potatoes down and explode people who don't watch where they're walking, like me. Real simple little toy here, just a little 
painted flat potato hollow inside and actually can even remove the uh, detonator thingy or whatever you want to call it. I almost want to say that the fun dead potato mine is a little better toy. A uh, little even larger and less goofy paint going on but a better face with the eyes stand out so much more in the red detonator on top and it's solid so kind of a misfire I think on this one but it is kind of fun to have two different versions out there so you do have more options in exploding stuff Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, Diamond Select Toys appear on store shelf spring 2016 Hey, a piranha plant? Get out of there! There we go. These toys continue the fancy greatness of Plants vs. Zombies. If you have a favorite character in there, pick them up. That's what I have to say about that. I could use a toxic jumper to clean out the gunk in my garage. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.